Hi folks, thanks for joining me for part one of this two-part video. I'm on the River Test on the Broadlands Estate, practicing for the Grayling Classic. Broadlands lies within the Mountbatten Estate and the river itself needs no introduction from me. One of the most famous chalk streams here in the UK, known the world over for its fantastic brown trout, salmon and in the winter, grayling fishing. In part one of the video, I'm going to show you a little bit of the river and the grayling that live here. I'm going to cover my approach to fishing a friendly competition like the classic and how I will set up and hopefully catch some fish. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay then, before we begin, let's talk tackle. Generally, I approach the river with two rods. Firstly, I'll be using a Hanak check nymph, 10 foot for a three, with a French leader and a braided indicator. This will be connected to 0.11 Hanak fluorocarbon with two nymphs. My second rod then is a Witchwood Drift XL. It's nine foot six for a three weight, and I've got a floating line with a nine foot tapered leader cut to seven foot with a micro ring. I then attach around three foot of tippet, which is generally 0.12 tippet, and this will be used for dry fly, dual, or wets. Okay, let's talk tactics. So the river test at Broadlands anyway has got strong, slow, deep runs. So generally my main line of attack will be the double nymphing rod, but the drift XL will be my monkey wrench. So any other situations that come up, dry fly fishing, wet fly fishing, the duo, I'll turn to my drift. But I foresee, as I've fished this event several times, that I'll mostly be on my double nymphing rod today. But you never know, uh, October's a funny month. One minute it's like this, pouring with rain. The next minute the sun comes out, there's a good hatch comes on and the grayling just come to the surface in droves. And you can make hay with the dry fly when that happens. Well, that's our practice session well underway. Uh, Ian and I have had about 25 fish so far between us, which is not too bad going. The, the river's lovely and clear, and uh, you can see right into the water, apart from the very deepest pockets. And uh, if you can get your nymphs into them deep pockets, that's where the big ladies live. Well, we've just stopped for lunch. It's been um, a very wet morning, and luckily enough, Ian and I have good waterproofs, so we've not really felt the effects of the rain. It, it started to get a little bit better, um, and we've not caught a lot of fish today, which is um, strange, because I always find the top end of uh, Broadlands fishes a lot better than the bottom end, and that fished superbly on the Monday. But today's been a little slow. We've maybe had, 20 fish between us for four hours of fishing so that's pretty slow for grayling fishing but hopefully things will pick up as we start to work our way downstream a little.
Well, Ian and I have had this whole section of river to ourselves. We've been the only two cars up here today and we've fished from the car park up to the bridge and we've caught fairly steady. It's not been prolific, but we've caught a few good fish and we're fairly pleased with our efforts. So we're going to have another couple of hours and then call it a day. Well, what a couple of fantastic days fishing here at Broadlands. We fished on Monday in glorious sunshine and conditions couldn't really be better. Uh, we caught a lot of really good fish on Monday and uh, I'd, I'd take them conditions in that section of the water in the draw anytime. Um, today, it's a bit dreek. We've still caught plenty of fish, but they've been a lot smaller than the ones we had on Monday and not as numerous, but it could be the conditions, it could be I just fished like a biff, it's hard to tell. But I've got a couple of days now to dry my kit out, tie a few last minute flies, and then on Friday there'll be an online draw due to Covid, and we'll know which sections of river we're going to fish in the comp. Really looking forward to it, it'll be great to catch up with a few friends, old and new, and I'll see you there if you're coming along. What I'm going to do next is stick a couple of nymphs up that I've done particularly well this week. So if you want to come down and fish the chalk streams, you might well want to have a look at the one here and the one there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you click away and I'll see you all next time.